that's where you're gonna go and you're gonna hit the nana and it's gonna be sick and it's gonna be <laughs> sweet! <laughs> <Tubular>. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Fred. And I'm Ed. And today we're going to talk about some of the fundamentals of riding an electric skateboard. So it's been about a year and a half since we first started riding electric skateboards and I came to it from pretty much a cold background. I'd never ridden a skateboard or done pretty much any other board sports and was pretty bad. Yeah. You sucked, but <laughs> I did suck. Yeah, and I come from a background of surfing, snowboarding, and a little bit of skating, so I couldn't wait to get on the boards. So today we're going to give you a couple of tips based on what we've learned over the last year and a half. So while we both ride the Evolve skateboards, these tips can pretty much apply to e-boards in general. Now there will be some of you out there who are already very proficient and already know a bunch of these tips. All we ask is that you maybe add your best tips to the comments below so that we can all share the love. Your glorious knowledge and wisdom. So being new to skateboarding and wanting to use these skateboards for fairly long commutes, safety was a big question or concern for me. Now the best tip I can give you here is always wear a helmet. Now, in different parts of the world, there are different rules as to whether you have to wear a helmet or not. End of the day, it just makes complete sense to protect your head. So when it comes to speed, my general rule is I try not to ride any faster than I can run. I had an experience recently where someone wasn't paying attention because they were listening to headphones and walked right out in front of me. I had to hit the brakes fairly suddenly, but was able to run off the board and avoid a collision. Definitely, it's, it's really tempting to push these things to the limit, but be aware of your surroundings and ride within your limits. I really love riding at night and so one big safety tip that I've picked up is make sure you can be seen. That means lights, bright clothing, you can get LEDs, you can get glow in the dark paint. Too many lights is never enough. <laughs> you go out there and it's such a fun unique experience, just make sure you can be seen. Riding up hills, being smooth and consistent on the accelerator, that's key. If you're inconsistent and you pump that trigger, you're likely to fall off. Happened to me on my very first ride up a steep hill, I pumped the accelerator and I did fall off. Lucky you're wearing a helmet. I wasn't going very fast and it wasn't a very serious fall, but yes, lucky I was wearing a helmet. Every board is different and with the Evolve boards in particular, you can do a lot to customize them. The big tip here is really understand your board and its setup. Know where the traction points are, know how it corners, know how it feels, and it will make your riding experience a lot better. So when I first got the board, I did this drill where I would accelerate and brake, accelerate and brake, just so I could understand the acceleration points and braking points of the board to make the riding experience a bit easier. Really? I just got on the right. Everybody's different, and I had never ridden a board before. Okay, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> I'm not sounds really simple but it makes a world of difference especially when you're carving keep your eyes up and look where you want to go if you look at a tree that's where you're going to end up if you keep your eyes up and look through your turns you're going to have a sweet carving experience due to the speed and acceleration electric skateboards can take quite a battering especially if you ride off-road so when it comes to maintenance, a tip I can give you here is around your bearings. Always make sure that they're cleaned and well lubricated. It can make quite a difference. Yeah, this is especially important if you're riding off-road a lot or in areas with a lot of dirt and grime on the roads. The other day I was riding an all-terrain configuration and I found the board was a little bit slow. At first I thought it was a motor issue, but it ended up being that the tires weren't pumped up enough. So like a car or a bike, make sure that the tires are pumped up and the performance will be awesome. So another no-brainer tip from me that makes a world of difference is most people remember to charge their boards after a ride, but they forget the remote. So my tip is charge them at the same time. So this isn't so much a tip as a really awesome aspect of riding these boards, and that is the community. That's right. We went on an Evolve group ride really early on, and they're awesome. 
They really are. And it's not just about meeting new people. You get to see different boards, different configurations, share information, and learn a whole bunch of new skills too. If you haven't been on a group ride, you definitely should. There's rides happening all over the world, all the time. And if you can't find one near you, try setting one up. So those are just some of the tips that we've learned. If you've got any of your own, remember to add them to the comments below. Until next time, aggressive thumbs up. Thank you.